Hello everyone, this is Ron Collins from Blue Lazy SEO. And today I'm going to talk about how to extend your proximity in your Google Business Profile using Google Maps SEO. Now, one of the biggest ranking factors for your Google Business Profile, which used to be called Google My Business, is how far away the searcher is from your business location. That is called proximity. And according to WhiteSpark, the proximity of your address to the point of search is a number three ranking factor for the Google Local Pack. So stay tuned and I'll show you how. Now you can extend your proximity by creating custom maps with driving directions. This is also called pin drops. Uh, so let's uh, dive in and I'll show you how it's done. Uh, first, you need to be logged into your Google account. And I'm logged into a client's uh, Google account. And you can see I've already created some maps here. And I'm going to be creating some more. So I'm going to show you the process. So you need to go to uh, Google My Maps. I'll leave a link in the description. This is where I am. Uh, this is the URL and it's Google My Maps. And I'm going to create a new map. So what I'm going to do is first title the map. Okay. I'm going to put the name of the company. And since I've created some maps already, um, I'm going to label these. I think this is the seventh map. And you can also enter a description here. So this is an opportunity to add in the uh, name of the company, the address, the phone number, what, what we call the NAP. And uh, put in a, a description, maybe two or three hundred words of description describing your services. You can even put your hours down. Um, exactly what you have in your Google business profile. All right, now I have a uh, description already in a notepad. So I'm going to copy all this description. And put it in here where it says description. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and save that. So now we can get started here. Uh, we can title this layer if we want. And I'll just put the name of the company. And next, we're going to make some driving directions. So I'll go over here where it says Add Directions. Okay, so we're going to have driving directions uh, from a location that we choose to the business address. So A is going to be uh, the location that we choose. And we're trying to get something farther away from the business location where they're not ranking quite as well. We're trying to extend our proximity. So what I like to do, I'm going to go over to a... Um, the client's website where I created a location page. And I have, this is in El Paso, so I have listed all the neighborhoods recognized by Google. And what I'm going to do is choose one of these neighborhoods so I can make sure I hit all the neighborhoods in this city and choose a location in each one of those neighborhoods. And it's outlined the neighborhood that I chose. So I'm going to zoom in here. And look for, I like to look for uh, landmarks in here. You can choose any street, any address that you want. Uh, what I like to do is try to use some landmarks. So here's a park, Thomas Manor Park. I'm going to choose that one by clicking on it. And it gives me the address over here. So I'm going to copy that address. It's copied it to the clipboard. I'm going to go back over to here and put an A 
paste that address in. Okay. Then I'm going to go and put in the address of the company right here. I'm going to copy that, put it in B. Okay, now you may get something that says I couldn't find the root. And you may get this if, uh, if you copy this and it says USA at the end. Now, if you delete that part for some reason, then it finds it and sets up the driving directions from point A. Zoom in from point A to point B. OK. So that's one driving direction. Uh, now, you can add a, a many different driving directions in, in one of these maps. Uh, what I like to do is no more to, than two or three. I usually do about two. Uh, just so it's not so confusing with uh, all these driving directions all over the map here, all over the city, and it just looks confusing. So I just do it like two per map. So I'm going to add another layer. Okay. Click on driving directions. And then I'm going to go back to my Google Maps. Well, first I'm going to get a, um, I'm in the wrong place here. I'm going to get a, uh, another neighborhood. Uh, the next one on the list is over here. So I'm going to choose that one. Okay, Mesquite Hills. And I'm going to look for, well, we got uh, Mesquite Bush Park. Uh, let's choose this one right here. Okay. And it doesn't have an actual address. Let's, let's look over at this one. Honey Mesquite Park. Okay, this one has an address. We're going to copy that to the clipboard. And I'm going to go back over here. And then I'm going to... Add that into the address for A. Okay. Then I'm going to get the address of the business. Copy that. Put that in B. And I'm just going to press Enter. So now we have two directions. Driving directions. Okay, so we have... From A to B from here, and then another one from A to B. This is where the location of the business address is. So we have completely different directions from different parts of the town. Okay. So next thing we're going to do, we want to embed this map so we can use it on a WordPress site. You can use it in uh, Web 2.0s, uh, wherever you want. Uh, I'm using it on our location page. So you click the three dots up here, and you go embed on my site. Now you're going to get an error that says, this map is not public. Click the share button to allow others to view it. So the first thing you got to do is click on this share button right up here. So I'm going to choose anyone uh, with this link can view, let others search for and find this in a map on the internet. And all I have to do is close it. Okay, now it's shared. So now we can come up here and click on embed on my site. So this is the HTML code to embed it on your site. It's in what we call an iframe. 
So I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to put it in a notepad file. So I'm going to label this Aqua Crystal. And this will be number seven. And I'm going to paste it in here. Okay. Now you see the default is 640 pixels by 480, the, the width and the height. And I found out on my website that I'm using, it's a little bit too big. So I've, I'm going to change this to 400 by 300. So you can play around with this to get the size that you want. Maybe you want a bigger map. Maybe you want a smaller map. I'm going to save this. And I'm going to copy this iframe. Okay. Then I'm going to go over to where I'm working on the driving directions to the to the business location. And this is in WordPress. I'm using Elementor as my page builder. If you're using a different page builder, this may be a little bit different. I'm going to have three containers. And I'm going to search for a widget, uh, HTML widget, which I'm going to use this one. I'm going to drag that over here. And this is where I'm going to enter the code, the HTML code. I'm going to paste that in there. And then now you can see the driving directions. Okay, and then I can update it. So I got two different directions for this map. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, just show you how this works a little bit. Let me hide that. And then see this little icon over here? I'm going to click that. And it brings out uh, the name. The, uh, if I scroll down, I can see the description. And here's the directions from the addresses. Okay. And then we can close that. You can share this. Somebody can share this on social media. Or you can actually embed it. And if you want to see a larger map, you can click on that. It'll open in a new screen. And you can see the actual directions. You can zoom in on it to see the actual directions. Now, this is made more for Google for ranking than it is for users, but users could use this also. Now, that's basically how you do this. You can um, you can add as many maps as you want. I'm going to add as uh, many maps as I have on neighborhoods for the city I'm trying to rank for. So I'm going to end up um, probably with about maybe 40 different neighborhoods that I have on here. So I'm going to have driving directions for all of those uh, addresses that I choose to make sure I'm getting all those neighborhoods and trying to extend the reach for this company uh, from where their location actually is. So. That's the basic steps uh, that you want to go through. Um, you remember that you're trying to extend the proximity of your Google Business Profile uh, ranking. So you want to create driving directions that are farther away from your location to extend your reach. You can create ones closer, uh, but you really want to concentrate on the ones farther away. Uh, so I hope this helps uh, you to create uh, your own Google My Maps. Uh, everybody be blessed, and I'll see you in the next video.